The book of strategies on how to take the stress out of your life has been on the top of the bestseller list. It says if you make simple adjustments in the way you approach daily annoyances, you can keep life in perspective. The book is called Don't Sweat the Small Stuff, and it's all small stuff. It really is for people who just, they just want to do better in life. They really just want to have a better life. They want to be empowered to do it themselves. And that's what's so beautiful about the philosophy is that it really does work. The whole, the whole idea, the whole philosophy is to start to see that some of the things, not everything, but some of the things that you think are just this monumental thing you have to talk to your friends about, you have to get really irritated about, if you can start to see them as smaller over time, then it won't irritate you so much. I really think that what made the Don't Sweat the Small Stuff brand so successful is that the chapters of those books came out of the chapters of our lives. You know, the biggest thing uh, is just to realize that you do have a choice to be happy and bring peace into your life. And that there, and the book is packed full of really easy ways that women can do that, like breathe before you speak, such right. a simple thing. Please join me in welcoming Christine Carlson. During this healing process, what became very, very clear to me which is really what my gift is for you today, is that you don't have to wait for a heart attack to happen. You don't have to wait for someone to die that you love. You don't have to wait for anything to wake up to your life at a deeper level. Richard was very, very careful to prioritize his family because he knew that life could change on a dime. He knew that there was always the possibility that he could walk out the door and not return because that's the truth for any man. Richard really was one of the first authors, not the very first, but one of the first authors to really bring that short chapter into focus for people. So he was able to, and I have been able to, identify the problem for people illustrate it with a real life example, and then give people a solution to the problem. I think every corporation realizes that their personnel needs to be happy, that their personnel needs to get along, just like a family would operate. Hey, don't sweat the small stuff, and it's all small stuff, because the book really is a how-to guide to being happy. I said the last time you were here, I have it by my bedside at night, and the first thing Richard says you have to do is make peace with imperfection. That's one of the main yeah, things. Yeah, lots of things in it, but that's one because a lot of times we put a, uh, an attachment or a condition on things being a certain way, but you know, life is rarely exactly the way we want it to be. It just is as it is. I have to say that not sweating the small stuff is really about making peace with the way life is and not having to have what you want, but wanting what you have. Don't Sweat the Small Stuff is the latest installment. The man who brought you the best-selling Don't Sweat the Small Stuff is the number the one best-selling business book on the New York Times bestseller. The author who taught us not to sweat the small stuff has another volume of advice, but this one can enrich you financially as well as emotionally. And my real hope is that people can start to see that just even the slightest bit of worry reduction in their life can pay enormous dividends. And again, not just financially, but in all aspects of life.